Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this first video on statistics for data science, I am going to discuss the concept of mean. Let us see what you will learn in this video. First, I am going to discuss the introduction to mean of ungrouped data. Next, we will see examples based on it. Then we will see introduction to mean of group data and then examples on it. Now let us proceed to first point, introduction to mean of ungrouped data. Here, mean is calculated by adding up all the values in the data set and dividing by the total number of values. It represents the average value of the data set. So the formula for mean of ungrouped data becomes sum of all the data points divided by number of data points. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Consider the marks of 5 students in a test. Say marks are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Therefore, there are 5 data points in the set. So this denominator number of data points becomes 5. In numerator, we have to calculate sum of these marks. So mean becomes 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 divided by 5. After calculating this, I found mean is equal to 30 for this data. I hope you understood this concept. Now let us see some more examples based on this. In this first example, we are given that a meteorologist recorded the temperature in Celsius of the city for a week. The data is recorded as follows. We are asked to find mean of the temperature. Let us proceed for the solution. Note that this data is recorded for 7 days. So there are 7 data points in the set. So in mean formula, the denominator which is number of data points is 7 here. In numerator, we have to add up all these data. So mean is equal to this. After simplifying this, I found mean is equal to 184 upon 7 which is 26.29. Therefore, mean temperature of the week is 26.29 degrees Celsius. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let us proceed for next one. In this example, we are given that the mean of 10 entries is 50. After checking, you discover that one entry 80 was wrong and should have been 60. We are asked to find the corrected mean. Let us proceed for the solution. Here, given that mean of 10 entries is 50. Therefore, sum of all the entries is 10 into 50, which is 500. Also mention that after checking, it is discovered that one entry 80 was wrong and should have been 60. So to correct the mean, we subtract the wrong entry from the sum of all entries and add the correct entry in it. So therefore, corrected sum of all the entries is 500 minus 80 plus 60, which is 480. Therefore, corrected mean will be 480 upon 10, which is 48. I hope guys, you understood this solution. Now let us see how to find out mean of group data. In step one, we find the midpoint of each class interval. The midpoint is calculated by averaging the lower and upper limits of the each class interval. Therefore, midpoint of class formula is lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. Next, we multiply each midpoint by its corresponding frequency. Then we sum up all these products. Then we divide the sum of products by the total frequency. Therefore, formula of mean for group data becomes summation fi xi upon summation fi where xi denotes the midpoint of ith class interval fi denotes frequency of the ith class and summation fi is sum of all the frequencies now let us understand this with the help of an example look at this example here given that the following table gives the frequency distribution of number of complaints received each day during the past 50 days at the call center office. We are asked to calculate the mean of complaints. Look at this data. Number of complaints are mentioned class wise. 10 to 12 complaints, 13 to 15 complaints, 16 to 18 complaints and so on. Their frequencies are 4, 12, 20, 15, 14. Sum of all the frequencies is 50. Let us proceed for solution. 
since this is group data, we have to use formula for mean as summation fi xi upon summation fi. That means we have to first calculate midpoint of each class interval. Then we have to multiply that midpoint with the corresponding frequency. And then we have to add up all the products. It will give you summation fi xi. And finally, we have to divide it by summation fi, which is 50. Let us do this all this calculation in a tabular format in this way. So here, this first column represents number of complaints. Second column represents the frequencies. Here, I'm going to note down the corresponding midpoints of each class interval. Here, class interval is 10 to 12. Therefore, lower limit is 10 and upper limit is 12. Its midpoint can be calculated as lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So 10 plus 12 divided by 2 becomes 11. Similarly, midpoint for this class will be 13 plus 15 divided by 2, which is 14. Similarly, midpoint for this class would be 16 plus 18 divided by 2, which is 17 and so on. Next, we will multiply these frequencies with this class midpoints. So 4 into 11 is 44. Then 12 into 14 is 168 and so on. Finally, we add up all these products. So we get summation fi xi is equal to 832. Now we substitute this summation fi xi value in mean formula, which is summation fi xi upon summation fi. So mean becomes 832 divided by 50 because summation fi is 50. Simplifying this, we see mean is equal to 16.64. So mean of this group data is 16.64. I hope guys you understood this solution. Now let me discuss one more example of this type. In this example, we are given that, let us say we have the following data representing the marks of the students in a class grouped into intervals. We are asked to calculate the mean. So here in first row of the data, we are given the marks interval. They are 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. And the corresponding frequencies are 3, 5, 8 and 4. Let us proceed to calculate mean. Once again, we will prepare this calculation table where we will first find out midpoints of the class intervals. Then we will multiply those midpoints with the corresponding frequencies. Look at the midpoint calculation. Lower limit plus upper limit that is 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is 5. 10 plus 20 divided by 2 is 15 and so on. Multiplying frequencies with the corresponding midpoint, we get 3 into 5, 15, 5 into 15, 75, 8 into 25, 200 and so on. Summation fi xi would be 430 here. Now we substitute this value into the formula of mean, which is summation fi xi upon summation fi. Here summation fi is 20 and summation fi xi is 430. So after substitution and simplifying, we get mean is equal to 21.5. So mean of this group data is 21.5. I hope guys you understood this solution as well. This was the last example of the video. Please write me in comment box whether you understood this concept or not, whether you like this video or not. In my next video, I'm going to discuss the concept of median. Till I publish that video, keep practicing these examples, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.